What's up, my people? Back with another video. I'm ready to go ahead and hurt some feelings and get this thing cracking with these blues. Uh, some people mind gonna be open, some people mind ain't gonna be open. We'll see. I'm finna show y'all where this stuff coming from. And uh, maybe y'all will stop talking so crazy and ignorant about the blues and stuff like that and maybe do a little bit more research before you embarrass yourself. But anyway, yeah. I mean, these dogs right here, the first time I put a dog on the airplane, I want to say, I went to, sent one to Alaska. And uh, it was off Blue Funk, Spock, and Raven. And, uh, yeah, man, the woman paid more to, to get the dog to Alaska than I cost the, you know, than I charged her for the dog. And I charged a decent, but, you know, not what it probably was worth. But, you know, she knew that, but she was on it. She was like, man, I got to have that dog. So she found out how it was bred and everything like that. And she she knew about them dogs, and she, uh, she got them. She got it. it was a female I sent to her, and she had to get the dog on the plane. The, the dog went from Greensboro to Washington, then went to Washington and met and got on Air Canada. From Air Canada, then she had to get on the plane to meet the Air Canada plane and then take the dog from the Air Canada plane back to where she was going in Alaska. So she had to do it. She did all that to get that dog. And this was back in the days and I was like, man, I don't even know if I had I had the I had the game dogs all around the US or whatever a little bit, but it won't like I hadn't put them on a plane yet, I don't think. I was like, man, this is another level right here for sending them to Alaska. So that's when I knew, like I said, y'all ain't gotta like these blues. People like these blues. There's people that don't even pay no attention to my game dogs and just love these blues for whatever reason. <clears throat> people into what they into. See, those, these are more show dogs. You know what I mean? Champion bloodline show dogs. And people in the shows just like they into everything else. Like, it's people that race cars and there's people that show cars and they fix them up. It's like the dogs. There's people that got working dogs and there's people that got show dogs. And now you can make your own dogs like I did and make them show working dogs. Like I said, it's all types of stuff you can do with these dogs. And you just let everybody else talk while they hate and you just keep making moves. That's how you do it. And you get to a point where I'm at now where you'll just start educating people and make them feel kind of stupid, which, you know, everybody got to learn. You know, just make sure you got an open mind. And y'all see us a few haters popping on the comments here and there, but not like it used to be. I used to have way more haters. Now everybody kind of know me for the most part if you, you know, know how to research stuff. And they don't want to really make it, you know, a, a a dummy of they self or make them look too stupid on the internet and some people are just going to do it anyway they just can't stand it you know haters are secret lovers so they pretty much like you and love you and they own you but they just can't stand it so they gotta hate you know it's kind of like the cowboys you know everybody talking about they can't stand the cowboys but every time you turn around everybody gathering up watching the games but i thought you can't stand the cowboys you want to see them lose and they be getting hyped when the plays happen and everything too it's people a trip man but, uh, yeah. So we're going to talk about Blue Funk's Vodka, Williams, Part 1. And we're going to go ahead and get this out of the way because UKC Papers. See, I was going to play with y'all and do the papers later. Make y'all think I didn't have them or something like that. But I know most of y'all know I got them. But these papers, they like to fold and long and everything like that so i'm gonna go ahead and get out the way so i can i ain't got to be holding it but i'll just show y'all see that right there ukc know what time it is champion bloodline stuff blue funk vodka y'all see that date two thousand seven we in 2024 almost ain't we okay see them names so when i go through this stuff you can see these names and see, oh, did he really have a dog? Is it really bred like that? Don't you see it? Now, there's some open spots in here too. I don't know why UKC left them open. They can't verify them or something, I don't know. But some people be get up here and be like, oh man, it's open spots. They'll try to use that as a way to get less money off the dog or something like that, like I don't still got the papers. People crazy. So I took and done my own research and you see that Rambo dog and 
you see they put it up there but they that like they can't verify it down here maybe so i don't know but i put it in there because i know how to verify it and i'm about to show y'all how i looked it up and stuff and it may be right it may not be i don't know but as far as i know it is in my research so and it don't matter anyway because it's williams bloodline dogs anyway but whatever but i just wanted to show y'all there's a little stamp down there it's old paper but i just want to get that out of the way so when i go through this stuff y'all can't be like oh he didn't show the papers this time i was gonna play and show them at the end but i don't play around i'm like my dogs i don't play so this is a show dogs basically is what i'm about to show y'all some of these dogs could have been in game could not been game i don't know but i've transformed them into working show dogs you can say so let's go ahead and break this thing down here part one blue funk vodka got him from a a dude that was working at the vet at the time and he, he he had some blues he called himself blue funks so that's why he got the D on the mama. And he had some dogs that, you know, that people kind of knew about or whatever, but he put Blue Funk on the papers for UKC. And I put Williams up there. UKC didn't put it in there. They're just going to put Blue Funks in there. Vodka. Now, when you go through, y'all seen all them names, them long names and stuff. And they and I when I, when I put Williams in there, they didn't want to put Williams in there. That, that kind of made me mad, but, they, you know, he might have told him, hey, this is what you I want him to put or whatever. I don't know. But you you didn't even own the daddy. The owner of the daddy right there, PR Sacktown, that was from California. So, I mean, the dude owned a tattoo shop and he went on vacation to Vegas. And, you know, when people with money get, go on vacation, they stay gone for a while, not like a weekend like regular people or something. So he was gone for a week or so and he had to wait till he came back to sign off for the papers and get everything going. And that's how I get the dogs for a better price when you like, because you don't even know if you're going to get the papers. But they came through. But, yeah, my boy was a barber, and he was like, man, my boy, you're a vet, man. And, you know, that made you feel good about him knowing he was a vet and work at the vet or whatever, vet tech or assistant or whatever he was. And I was like, yeah, I know the dog's going to be take care or whatever. So I got him for a good price and had to get him. Just to, you know, my boy was like, yeah, man, you already got the game, dogs. You know, as well get the blues. And I know people was calling for him, like I said, so. I was like, let me go ahead and get started and get one. So I got him. It was a good dog. Big as I don't know what. He was the biggest dog I ever had. But he was a good dog. And he won't that, you know, he still has some athleticism with him, you know, a little bit. So, yeah, that's his daddy. PR Sacktown. West Coast Joe. He was worth some big money. And, uh,. We're going to break it down into quarters, like I told you. We're going to do part one. Sack Towns, Bailey, King Saber, his daddy. Like I said, this stuff from California. That's why I say Sack Town. So, you know, like I said, that's more value right there. Now, like I said, these champion dogs, show dogs, just like show dogs, show cars. Instead of racing cars, they show cars. So, People into that stuff, big money on that stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's how he bred. And you see that wine garner stuff down there and everything. People know about wine garner, the watchdog stuff, the razor's edge. We're going to go through all that. So, part one Sack Towns. That's pretty much how he bred. Got the Gotti, got the Razor's Edge stuff. He's pretty much a Gotti Razor's Edge cross. Throwing Knuckles, Mr. Brooks, Champion, and the Gray Line stuff. Now, see, I'm going to have to go to another ped because this one don't got the pictures and it ain't going to show y'all like I want to show y'all. But I just see if what pictures is up here. Um,. Divine, yeah, she don't got them up there either. But I just want y'all to see how they bred, so when I go through it, you can see. All right, some of these dogs do clover heels, you know. Uh, I know Gotti in here, so let me show y'all the notorious Juan Gotti. There you go, good-looking dog. 
Super famous dog. Super famous dog. That's why I told y'all made that. That's where that, a lot of that bully stuff coming from. I just showed it to y'all in that one dog on the last video. How he breed. See the unknown stuff. Now it might be on my papers. It might not. I could. I can't remember. But I know how to go check some other stuff anyway, and we're gonna do it. See if it. You know. See where it come down from. That somebody don't want you to know it come down from or whatever. Or it arguably may not could be, who knows, but that's the research. Okay. So, I don't know if uh, Raider got a picture in here. Yeah, there go Raider. See? Good looking dog, Blue. That's his daddy. Alright. Then they got Chain Gang Barney. There's his picture, you see? See that brown? Told y'all that blue just come from brown. Now see, it it don't got no more information for this in this pedigree. But uh huh, I know where to get more information there. But this is where we stop right here. But see, if I didn't know no better, I'd be like, man, it stopped right here. I don't know how to look for nothing else, but I do. So I just want to show y'all that's where it stop at. But I know how to keep looking. All right, Tony's <coughs> showtime. <coughs> Tony Showtime. See what they give me on them. Oh, brother. See? And that's a unknown, too. But we're going to find, we're going to show y'all what it come down from off of. Grand Champ, Tough Town, Candy Diamond Gym. Good looking dog. Ain't showing us nothing else. All right. Has a grand champion show dog, the daddy. National grand champion, UCD grand champion. See? They don't got a picture of that dog either. All right, so, but y'all get the gist, so I'm gonna really go. So you really can't tell a whole lot from that. You know, it's like, man, it's unknown. It's, you know, now uh, Tony Showtime got the information down there, see? Same Tony Showtime. Oh, now you look down there, now you see the information. Well, no, nah, I still don't see it right there yet, so that's confusing me. But now nah, it's just inbred off the showtime right there. Okay. But anyway, it's a unknown, so we don't know. So, okay. So, let's, uh, let's see if we can, uh, see what other dogs might be in here. Razzle Dazzle. There you see Razzle Dazzle. Razor's Edge. Worth big money. Daddy was UKC Grand Champ throwing knuckles. There go a picture of throwing knuckles. Now he bred. See, go back to the AKC champion stuff. Tell you, this stuff got history, rich history too now. Show dogs. Best in show, AKC. Rifkin's Red Rock. Now, some of these dogs, I'm we're going to go through. I don't know if we're going to catch it or not. Because, like I said, I can't spend time clicking all this stuff. I mean, I'm just trying to give y'all information and show y'all the history of stuff. These dogs got history, too. They got show history. You know? So, let's see. There ain't too many pictures in here of stuff. That's a AKC champion, Brian Finn McCool. Let's see if champion... Griffin got a picture, see? These dogs looking more and more like game dogs or regular dogs. See, that's how that stuff come, that's what it come down from. 
Look at all the history. Ruffin. AKC Ruffin. See? People that's in the know know about this stuff more than me. I just feed it. And I know how they act and I know what they are and I know they're quality dogs and they can be bulldogs and everything. But this AK Champ stuff, see, this stuff is walking antique stuff. Look at the dates. 2004, 2001. In 2023, still pumping the blood. See, the right people know what they're looking at, Dale. They're going to get these dogs if they can get them. If they know what they're looking at. But, uh, yeah, I just want to show y'all the history, man, on this part one. It's got history. And you ain't got to like it. It is what it is, though. It's history. That look like a bull to y'all? That's that Staff Shire Terrier stuff. Another AKC Grand Champion. Bullet. UCD. Come off the champion. Patton Red Rocket. See, all this stuff is champion blood stuff. The best of the best. Show dog stuff. Or whatever they were doing at the time. Look at there. Top five producing sire in UKC in 2020 in 2001. Top five producing sire. Walking antiques. That's the stuff going through these blues. He ain't blue. Like I said, they can turn him to blue. When you start adding that black and brown and stuff, one might come out or something. Then you keep it and you start breeding it. Um... See Woods. O'Shea. See, he got two names. This dog is Champ Woods Tiffany Doshe. Y'all UKC stuff. Let's see if Woods picture right here. No. See these dogs don't got a lot of pictures in here. So I'm about to show y'all some pictures so y'all can get the gist of what's going on. Cause these you just see the history. You can go do it, look at your own self, but now, I just want to show y'all it's got rich history. And if you're in the know, you know what you're looking at. Classic stuff. Alright, so we was on Bailey Saber. Let's just uh, let y'all see it from here, and then I'm going to go to this one. Oh, Bullypedia. Alright, so this is where you can see some pictures, and this is where you're going to start getting your feelings hurt when I go back in them unknowns. They're going to take you back and show y'all where it's coming from. All right. So this one, you only got three. They only showed it mama and the daddy because I ain't no, uh, I can't log in. I ain't no member like I used to be. I got upset with them, which they can do what they want to because it's their website. But somebody got mad. I still, and, and like I said, you'll run across this some more. Um, maybe I might point it out if I think about it, but somebody got mad. I still got this blue and they know it's some champion stuff. So they want to go contact Bullypedia and say, don't take my stuff out of there. So I was putting the stuff in there for the pedigrees and stuff and they going to, and, and, and they kept erasing it. They kept erasing it. And I was like, what's going on? They was like, will you please, they sent me an email. Will you please stop putting it back in there? The owner don't want you want it to be in there i said it's on my paperwork what you mean it don't so that's when i got mad and i just put them in put them into uh, pets online but it ain't as rich as this stuff but like i said people get mad man you still got the blood and you call it williams bloodline and it run through off their champion stuff whatever and you'll see some of that stuff in the game dog stuff too that i got the boys get mad i got that or the women or whoever own this dog they get mad you still got the blood in these days and time they want to try to do everything they can to take the credit off of it I'm like, why would you do that? Like, that's just credit to your dog, but that's how bad they be hating. You know? That's just the world we live in, man. So, yeah, let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and show y'all what I'm talking about. So, West Coast Joe. So, just telling you, you need to be a member. To have active login to, to to see the rest of the pedigree, but all you gotta do is just click it and go back. It just make that aggravating you. Now you see West Coast Joe, that's his daddy right there. You see, worth big money. Look at him, bullied up. 
Sack Towns Bailey King Saber DNA profile. So you don't give you all this information on Peds Online because this ain't Bullypedia. This is the Bullypedia that's going to give you the information. 2002, you see that? New Trojans Big Mama DNA profile. You see? Don't they look like them? That's where you see where vodka come from. That's why these papers matter so you can see these pictures and stuff when you research it and learn it. You say, oh, okay. I, I see he looked, looked just like vodka. You feel me? Oh, papers do matter, don't they? Yeah, they do matter. That's the craziest stuff I ever heard. Papers don't matter. Boy, I tell you. Anyway. Now. Let's see where Bailey's King Saber, Saber come from. I'm at 20 minutes, so I ain't going to try to last it too long, but I'm going to try to hurt, hurt y'all feelings a little bit so when y'all see where this stuff coming down from. All right, so Sack Towns Bailey King Zayler DNA profiled West Side's Capone and Pure Razor's Edge Divine. Yeah, you know, they don't look real bully, but that's you can see he got it from his mama a lot. Mm, you know, daddy, there you go. All right, so West Side Capone. All right. Got him. In Blue Kings, China. You see? There's another picture of Gotti. Alright, Blue Kings, China. That's that bully stuff. That's what made West Side's Capone. <coughs> Alright. Another picture of Gotti. Look at Gaddy Daddy. Grey Lions Raider 2. Grey Lions Love the Blue Guy. Cali. See that? That finest reddish. They bred to that blue. And as it came out like that. Alright. Raider 2. That classic car back there. <laughs> All right, I done showed you Tony Sinbag and R. Gaines Barney, but you see you couldn't see the brother in in uh in this one, but you see I showed y'all he was a black guy holding him up there, Tony's. I don't know, maybe they want to take him out. That looked like a black hand too, maybe I don't know. You know, so they always tell you it's always, you know white people and I ain't racist and I got a lot of dogs from white people, black people, whatever. But black people had dogs too. They just you know how it go with life. They don't want to get a credit to what they want to get a credit to. So you listening to a brother too if y'all didn't know. Now uh chain gang Barney. See, when it said it said it unknown on Peds Online, didn't it? Now we see some names. You see? Oh, we can see more see some extra stuff now. Alright. That ain't showing us no more pictures, but we see names. So that's why I said that's how you research stuff. Alright, we can't see no pictures, but we see the names. You might find the pictures maybe later, but that's where it stopped at. But I just wanted to show you that. There's ways to research to. Alright, Tony's Showtime. Alright. Tough Town's Candy Diamond Gym. And Candy Little Sapphire. See? They like bullies, do y'all? Not really. Grand Champion right there. Alright, Show Dogs. Touchdowns Candy Jim. Black Bear. I don't got a picture for green. Hot Ruby. But then you can see 
Kendra's Bow Jungle. See that? Is that brown? See? 1981. Bulldog history. Classic stuff. Look at that stuff. Patton's Red Rocket. Red Bridget. And remember the really look too bully. AKC Champ. See these pictures starting to come back? Come out here for y'all? I'm at 25 minutes. I'm going to try not to make it last too long. But I want y'all to see how these keep, how they transforming. You see? They don't look too bully, do they? Classic stuff right here. Fanny. And the rock car win. All right. So that's all I want to show you. This stuff got history too now. Show dog history stuff. 1972. You see? Nineteen sixty-three. See where this stuff come from? Classic stuff. Rascal. Expert Roddy Rascal. Nineteen sixty. See? So you can just go on and on and look at this stuff. So now y'all keep listening to y'all self when y'all start talking about these blues and saying they ain't bulldogs and saying they ain't this. You don't even know what you be talking about. Do your research. Stop embarrassing yourself. Alright. But that's that's what I'm for. I'm to show y'all so I'm to show y'all person. I don't talk, I show and tell. Alright. I don't just talk. A lot of people on YouTube just talking. Or just showing. They ain't really telling. I show and tell. They show you the dogs, don't show you how they breed and say they this and say they that and where the receipts at. Alright, so that's where we stopped at Barney. Let's look at uh where we stopped at that. Um it was looking at Raider, I think. Let's look at Blue Good. Well my better, I think my battery gonna die, but I'm gonna try to show y'all a couple more things. Raider two. New Mercy. See her? She don't look too blue. Look like an old game dog, don't she? Alright. Look at that. Brandy. Alright. Garcia's. I think that's the pictures ain't gonna go. It's one of them I was one of them go back to the hemp hill stuff. I was trying to show y'all the hemp hill and the Satan stuff and I I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it on this one. I might catch it later, but Let's see if it's on greater stuff. No, we already went over that. Yeah. That's Gotti. That's where Gotti coming from. Let's look at Blue King's China, see if we can get that in, because we about at 28 minutes. See old Blue King's China. Bully stuff. Alright, Dingo, Blue Good, and Gray Lines. Cali Love, Blue Good. Alright. Same stuff, so yeah. I don't know, I'm at the, maybe on the next video I take you with the Hemp Hill stuff where it come through. But it's something I was seeing, I, had, I remember seeing the Hemp Hills, it come down from some of that stuff too. But y'all get the point. You know. Um... That was, uh, well, we looked at Sabre, the DNA profile. Let's look at Big Mama. Let's see if we can find it on Big Mama. Cause maybe that, maybe the Hemp Hill stuff are coming down from Big Mama. New Trojans, Munster G, Razor's Edge Rainer. See, Big Mama stuff. See, this is Bully Peter. You can see some stuff. See, Munster G. Alright. New Life, Blue Bill. 
Sky blue, yeah, I don't think there's no more pictures on this one. Yeah, I'm gonna try to find the hint peel one on the next video for y'all, cause I, I guess I'm gonna have to find it, but where it where it come down from, but it's in here. Daddy Duke, right there. So yeah, man. Uh, I'm at 30 minutes, so I ain't going to keep it going too long because people ain't even going to get this far. But that's the point I'm getting to, man. Do your research. This stuff got history, too. This show dogs, you know, they got history. And they got some gameness to them, too. You just got to know how to take it back and look at it. And uh, I hate I can't find that hint pills because that's what I was trying to find, that hint pills one, but I'm pretty sure we'll go through it a little more later. But, yeah, that's basically West Coast Joe. That was uh, the quarter we wanted to break down. And, uh, well, Bailey's King Zaber is what we really, that was the quarter. And we're going to do part two next time. But, yeah, I'm mad I couldn't find that hemp heel stuff. I'm a, it's in here somewhere, though. You gotta take it back a little bit. And I'm always doing stuff off the top of the head, so. I can't remember where it was at. But, uh. Yeah, I'll find it when I make my next video for y'all so I can know where it was at, but. Y'all know what hemp heels is, and some of that, some of this stuff go trace back to that. And I can't remember which one it was, but y'all get the point. You know, look at the dogs, look at what they transformed into, and from, and ask yourself, you know, how bully this stuff looking, you know. Not too bully. So, uh, yeah, just do your research before you start talking about stuff and calling people's dogs out and stuff like that. Because these stuff can be bull dogs too. They can be bull dogs too. Trust me. But that's it for now. Next video, I'll try to see where I can where that hemp hill came from on one of them dogs and stuff. I'll look at it and take some time and figure it out where it was. But that's the point I want to get to. This stuff come down from bulldogs too. Do your research and stop making a fool of yourself. These can be bulldogs too. They got papers. They come off champion stuff, show stuff. Walking antiques history just like the game dogs. You know, maybe not my favorite, but show stuff is important too to a lot of people. Big money. And if you're into it, you're into it. Alright, so thanks for watching. I'll do part two to break down a little bit more. And uh hope y'all get the gist of what I'm saying here. Peace.